Hey guys, well it's been a while since I released a new video in my ACM and formation series and a lot of this is due to the fact that my oculus went out. The rear IR LED panel seemed to stop working and it made my tracking a problem especially when I looked to my 6. So long story short, the issue occurred for a while but I was 20 days or so out of warranty when I reported to Oculus. However, after dealing with their excellent support team, they agreed to replace it, so that's pretty cool. Now, what does this have to do with my series? Well, I'll explain. I started playing DCS about a year ago when I got my Oculus. I had only played maybe two or three hours prior to that, and I didn't even have a head tracking device. So now that my Oculus is broken, I had to move to track IR. And let me tell you, that's something totally different. A lot of you probably went from track IR to Oculus or maybe you just play with track IR but the feeling's totally different. Having to track movement in 2D versus 3D is different and having never used track IR it was just something to get used to and and completely foreign to me. Anyway I spent probably the past month here and there getting used to track IR and if you watch my streams during any of it you probably had quite a few good laughs at my expense and well I had a few also. So as you can probably infer, this is why I haven't continued my series yet. My flying basically is garbage as of late, but we're getting there. And I can say that after the past month of practice, I feel a lot more comfortable with it. Now with that out of the way, let's talk about this video. A few weeks back, I was playing with Colt, Lumberweld, and a few other friends on the F99 server in 2.1. It was a relatively casual night. We were just having some fun. I had been doing pretty well, still trying to get a grip on track IR. After a sortie, I was refueling and rearming in an airbase, and I wasn't fully paying attention to everything, and you know, shooting the shit with some friends and the like. Anyway, while I was providing support for CAS, I got a 27 nail. So I turned to intercept, and about 20 nautical miles out, I realized I had no missiles. What an idiot. Well, this gave me two choices. On any other less casual night, I probably would have RTB'd. But given that this night was going so well, and I mean, I didn't really care, I decided, go big, go home, let's go for guns. So a fully loaded SU-27 versus me and an F-15 with just guns. Enjoy. Oh no! Over G, over G, over G. Black screen. 
Now, I just want to note, I could have fatally messed up here. I didn't actually check that he went down. I saw smoke and assumed, which almost came to bite me in the ass, as you're about to see. Now, I would love to say that this was all skill, but if I'm being honest, and I'm going to be honest, there was a lot of luck. After reviewing the TAC view, I was completely unaware of at least two missiles, but either way, I had a lot of fun. It was like taking your first hit of meth, heroin, or crack, you know? Okay, I have no idea what that's like, but it's definitely one of those moments I hope to have again. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. If you did, hit the subscribe button to get notifications of future content, and I'll catch you guys next time.